morning guys welcome back to the channel it is tuesday feels like a monday because yesterday was labor day so basically today is pretty much our monday and everyone else's monday i'm tired but it's okay we're getting the day going it is 8 38 seeks down for his first nap he's been asleep for a little while now so hopefully he stays asleep for a little longer also side note i have dry shampoo in my hair that's why my hair is gray i'm not graying just yet surprisingly but welcome back i thought i'd start the vlog now i think i'm gonna start doing like weekly vlogs for the most part because i did one last week and i really liked it i really like just picking up the camera and filming when i felt like it and not feeling like i had to film every single part of a whole day because that got pretty boring for me rather than filming when i actually have fun things going on so let me know if you are gonna like the weekly vlogs i'll obviously throw in a couple daily vlogs within the mix but for the most part i'll probably be vlogging for a week or like a few days yeah i'm in like a cleaning mood it's a very gloomy gloomy day um i'm gonna make a coffee which if you know you know i know i don't make coffees but i'm in the mood for a coffee i'm gonna try it well we're gonna see how it happens probably gonna make me go back to my matcha phase but we're gonna try and after that we're gonna deep clean the espresso machine because it's been a while and it needs just a little cleaning so i thought i'd make a coffee first and then clean it because that just makes sense Moment of truth. This is where we see if it's actually good. <laughs> okay. You see, this is better than I remember it tasting. That's pretty good. Okay, I'm happy about it. I'm happy it tastes good. I'm just praying it doesn't make me anxious because freaking coffee makes me a little bit anxious, but I love coffee and I don't want being anxious to stop me from drinking what I love, so. We're trying to combat it here. I just used the Starbucks caramel syrup. Um, I have some in this little jar, but some part of me thinks it's bad in here and not bad in here. It's been in here for a long time, but it's also from this, so it makes no sense, but my brain just told me to use this one, and I don't know why. But I'm gonna try to make like a honey cinnamon one too, maybe tomorrow. It tastes good when you need some caffeine. I'm gonna sit my coffee, turn on some music, I think, and just start cleaning. I wanna clean the espresso machine, probably the countertops too, and just put away a bunch of stuff that's just sitting out that's driving me crazy. And hopefully we can do all this before baby wakes up, but if not, oh well. Got some background band and similar artists on Amazon Music. <laughs> Exactly two minutes into my cleaning and someone's squirming, but I'm praying he's not fully awake. <laughs> And that was a 20 minute nap. Starting off strong today. Someone wanted to say hi from their nap. I just fed him and yeah, it was like a 20 minute nap, but it's okay. Hi, at least you woke up happy. At least you woke up happy. Lauren in the video 
coming to you a little bit early, but I want to talk about today's video sponsor, which is Seed. I've worked with them a few times previously, and this product just truly blows me away every single time. This is Seed's DSO-1 Daily Symbiotic. Basically the first of many to benefit more than just digestive health. Seed's Daily Symbiotic just has so many benefits in addition to gut health. It's a 24 strain broad spectrum prebiotic and probiotic which makes it a symbiotic. It's formulated for digestive, gut immune, and so many other systemic benefits. And I thought I'd bring you along at taking my seed for the day because it's just something I've been really wanting to share with you because it is part of my daily routine. I don't even think about showing you half the time because it's just routine at this point. I'm gonna put on the screen a few benefits that Seed has for you, such as digestive health, gut barrier integrity, gut immune function, cardiovascular health, dermatological health, and micronutrient synthesis all so important for you in your daily life. Seeds DSO-1 just has become a non-negotiable in my daily routine. Ever since taking it consistently, I see a huge difference in just my overall well-being. Being sort of freshly postpartum, I feel like having a staple like this that's so consistent in your routine is just so important because for so long, I have not felt like myself and I feel like a lot of people can relate to that being postpartum and just simply all the changes that are going on in yourself and your body and your life. That having consistency like Seeds Day So One has been amazing for me. So Seed actually upped their discount to 25% off of your first order with Seed. You can head to the link in my description box and use code Lauren25 for 25% off your order. Thank you Seed for sponsoring today's video. I love you and let's get back into it. Good morning guys, happy Thursday. It's almost Friday and I'm very excited. <laughs> It's 9.06 a.m. I was just about to start this vlog for today because I was going to show you some packages I just got in and some things I bought yesterday, but Zeke literally just woke up. I also needed to feed my sourdough starter and make breakfast, but I didn't get to do any of that. So, I'm going to go grab him in a second, but I just bought this water bottle from Target yesterday. I wanted it when it first came out. And then I never bought it, and then it was on sale yesterday when I went, so I thought it was perfect opportunity to grab it. So this straw's a little weird, but I really need to start drinking more water. And if buying a new water bottle is the way to do it that's gonna work for me, then that's the only way that's gonna work. <laughs> he might have just fallen back asleep, but I don't think so. Yeah, he's still awake. But I will link this below for you. I think it's on sale for like $17. Yeah, Ruth is back in business. If you watched my last vlog, she's rising again, which I'm very excited about. She was up here, but she already started to fall. So I need to feed, discard and feed. And I'm hoping we can make some sourdough, hopefully within this next coming week, because it's been, it's been a journey, let me tell you that. But look at the bubbles. She looks so good. She smells so good too. Like sourdough and it's delicious. Yeah, I'm gonna go get Zeke, feed him, and then I'll tend to Ruth because we don't have time for that right now. Okay guys, we're hanging out. Just fed Zeke, eating a little chicken cheese pocket thing for breakfast. Maggie McDonald video playing in the background. Can you spin it? I just made a matcha, put it in this cup that this brand Make Time sent me. I actually haven't tried like their other products because they sent me like prenatal vitamins and, and like drink mix and stuff like that Which I want to save obviously for when I'm pregnant again, but their cup is really cute. So I use this after I finish this This is supposed to section, you know after I'm done with this We're gonna walk to the post office because I need to drop off some of my notepad orders and also a return of some birthday socks that I bought They're so incredibly uncomfortable. So Okay, we just took a little walk to the post office. Got back, I checked my P.O. box, and I got a little package that I wanted to show you. I kind of opened it, but not fully. But it's this little journal. It's by the brand Myself Evolved, and they actually gave me a little code for you, Lauren15 for 15% off. She says it's all about self-reflecting and evolving. And her name is Valerie, so thank you, Valerie, for sending me this from your little small business but she sent a little pen first of all which is so cute it has her branding on it too the actual journal comes in this little box how cute this is actually the cutest journal the best project you'll ever work on is you first of all this is probably the cutest cutest looking journal i've seen are you yelling Ooh, and it's so soft 
and I'll link her little shop below. All right, it is 3 p.m. It's been quite a few hours. Zeke and I actually went out um, for a couple hours and just did a little bit of random shopping. And hi, I love you. Mainly for like fall decor stuff. Um, I'm kind of just getting things as we go rather than going on a huge shopping trip and getting a bunch of fall stuff because I still need to go through what we already have from last year and the years previous. So, you see who? <laughs> I love him. Okay. So I went to Marshalls, Ross, and World Market, but I didn't get anything from World Market. And Target a couple days ago. Oh, and Nordstrom Rack. Wow, we went to a lot of stores. Mainly we were just walking around though, because we were trying to just be outside and explore, huh? Nordstrom Rack. I found this pillow, and this is the cutest fall pillow I feel like I've ever seen. This is the brand if you wanted to look it up, because obviously Nordstrom Rack has a bunch of random brands, but it's from the Hearth? Hearth? Anyways, I think it's so cute, and it'll look so good on our couch, because we have mainly browns and neutrals in here. Target, I just got these three stems, which I thought were really pretty. I really like the color of these. Um, they're very neutral still, but still fall vibes. So I feel like they'd look good in a lot of places, but they look good here for sure in this little pot. They'd really look good in any vase that I have. So yeah, I got those. Marshalls, I picked up three things. One were these salt shakers, salt and pepper shakers, which I think are so stinking cute. I had some like this on my wedding registry and they were like $30 from Crate and Barrel and these were 13 and I think they're adorable. They're really gonna elevate the kitchen space. So I'm excited to switch these out. I got these, this little pumpkin garland, which I think is so cute. I don't know where I'm gonna put this, but thought it was a little cute, dainty, sweet little garland, which was adorable. They had another one. I don't know if I'm gonna need more than one. Um, I don't even know where I'm gonna put it, but we'll figure it out. I got Zeke some bath toys because right now he literally just plays with the little rubber scrubber after I scrub his hair. So these are good. Um, it says they're fully sealed, so they don't have any like little holes where water can get in and then create mold, which is what I was looking for. 100% natural rubber and they were on sale. So, thought these were perfect, just a little whale and turtle. And then I went to Ross and honestly, I never find cute things at Ross. Is that just me? Like Ross is like the bottom of the totem pole. It's like Home Goods, TG Maxx, Marshalls, Ross in that order for me. And yeah, but I found a few goodies. So I found this candle, which I think is so cute. It's a little mushroom, which I think is cute for fall. I'm not really into like scented synthetic fragrances anymore with candles, so I don't plan on actually lighting this, but I think it's really cute for decor. And then I can use it year after year too, so. Just a little mushroom looking candle. I found these little dish rags for the kitchen, which I think would be really pretty. I really like the colors. It wasn't very cringy like a lot of the other ones that you see. And then I saw, um, who was it? Oh, Allison, Allison Bickerstaff, Autumn Decorate With Me. She had a little pumpkin cutting board and it looked so cute in her kitchen. So I saw this one and it was perfect. I honestly don't love the detail on this. It kind of reminds me of like um, Day of the Dead type of stuff, but I thought I could just flip it around and just use this basic side and take the tag off. Obviously it still has that, but still think it's cuter and more subtle than this. But I don't know, let me know. Do you think this is cute? It reminds me of those like skull, like candy skulls, you know? And then I have been so obsessed with vanilla lattes, like basic, basic girl. Um, I wanted to get vanilla syrup. I, didn't, I wasn't usually a fan of Toronto syrups, but I saw they had this pure made version, some of their syrups, and I saw the vanilla. And I don't know if it's like tastes better than their regular one but I don't know we're gonna try we are gonna try it so I'm excited about this to make a little vanilla latte or put this in my matcha too which would probably be good so yeah that's all for like fall decor that I've gotten so far I'm not planning on getting a lot like too much but just wanted to get a few things to start and I'll link everything I can below I might like to know it and then just a couple more things that I've gotten over the past couple days I also got these boots from Target which I think are the cutest ever they're the perfect fall booty little mule staple i'm about to try these on with my socks they're not gonna be cute okay but hear me out just the way they fit is so cute okay showing you with socks is not doing them justice but they're just literally so comfortable and then i showed my sister that i got them and she's like i just bought those two days ago so we'll be matching and then i got a little package in from james michelle which is like a little jewelry brand i already threw the packaging away but i kept the little pieces out 
this bracelet also but I yeah, love me some gold jewelry so I got some new gold hoops a little very very thin chain link necklace and then this like little snake bracelet which is beautiful and they actually gave me a discount code which is Lauren Doan for 20% off so you can get a discount on their jewelry and they have such cute unique pieces too I got very basic minimal pieces but they have really cute like detailed pieces also and then I placed a princess Polly order because pre-pregnancy pre-baby these were my favorite shorts ever they're the swalla shorts um, and I got them in my new size. So I got them in a black pair, which obviously is right here. And then I got a little blue pair, which I'm wearing right now and I'm wearing today. Honestly, they're still, I have a milk. <laughs> Don't mind my milk. Really? <sighs> I love you. Don't mind my milk stain. I just fed Zeke, so my letdown, you know. Got them in blue. They're still a little teensy bit. <laughs> oh my goodness. What are you saying to me? Got them in blue. I could have gotten them in one size bigger, I feel like. But they still fit. And I feel like the more I wear them and wash them, the stretch out a little more maybe. So I got them in the blue and then black because I just love the style of shorts and like the long length of them. This mama is not into booty shorts no more. Nuh-uh. I mean, I haven't been into booty shorts for, I don't think I ever was really, but it's a hard no for me. Anything close to booty hanging out, no. I actually, fun fact, just gave my old pre-pregnancy ones of these to my 10 year old niece who they barely fit. <laughs> who is about to not fit them anymore either because she's getting so big, but yeah, that's all for the haul. 3.20, like I said, Keiko is actually on his way home already, which is so exciting. He's been getting home a lot later, like very close to Zeke's bedtime, but today he texted me at like three and said they're already on their way, so I'm excited about that. Another random thing that's right here, so I guess I'll just show you. I got this, um, nipple sizer on Amazon because I want to start trying to pump a little bit aside from exclusively breastfeeding because I just want to have a little bit of extra pumped milk for occasions or whatever so I got this so that I can get the correct flange sizes for my pumps because I know that they're not the right size so I just ordered the correct size. I need to package a couple of notebook orders. I need to go upstairs and print the labels first. So I'm gonna wait a little longer. Hello guys, it's been a few days since I've vlogged. I kinda just decided to take the weekend off. It was just a long week and weekend and we did so much this past weekend with a lot of family and events and stuff like that. So I decided to just chill from the vlog and be in the present for that time. Today is finally Monday again. <sighs> Happy brand new week. <laughs> it's 10.30. I've been awake since like 6, a little before 6, because Zeke was a very early riser today. And he has been for the past few days, so I don't know if this is going to stick, but he's been waking up literally before the sun rises, and it's been very hard. But we've done already a lot this morning. Zeke's already down for his second nap of the day, and he's been sleeping for like 30-ish minutes, praying it lasts a little bit longer. I wanted to pick the vlog back up and vlog maybe a couple more days for this vlog, because I need to get it up, because last time I vlogged was like last week. So something fun is happening today, though. Um, my friend Caitlin is coming over. She has a podcast, Not Your Typical, with Caitlin Nolan. And we're finally getting to film an episode together because she's been asking me for months and we've just never gotten around to it. So we're finally doing it today. She's coming over. I was praying Zeke would be asleep when she came over so that we could film it and knock it out before he woke up so we don't have to worry about him but he's probably gonna be awake the whole time she's here so we're just gonna have to film an episode with Z. but it'll be fun we're gonna talk about all things new mom and just my journey and all that stuff so it's gonna be really fun and i'm just excited to see her because it's been honestly a while and we're due for a hangout so i'm excited that she's coming over yeah other than that we're pretty much just chilling for now she's, she'll probably be here in like 30 minutes or something that's what's going on i did want to show you the new camera lens that i got though because this is what i've been using to take some photos and i'm obsessed with it you guys my friend olivia um recommended it because she, she's been taking some really good pics on her camera. I can't, obviously can't put it on right now, but this is the 50 millimeter lens. I have the Canon M6, so I had to get an adapter, which is this bottom part right here, in order to fit it on my camera. But seriously, you guys, it is so good. And I just love taking pictures. Such good quality. It just really elevates everything. Oh. 
someone is waking up. He's been so tired today. I think it's because he's been waking up so early. But it's just a never-ending cycle. Look who's here. Did you tell them that you're recording? I did this morning. She finally came over. She's actually been here for a while, but. Yeah, and we already. Recording. Recording. It should be out by the time. I'm posting it on Wednesday. The podcast? Mm -hmm. Oh, soon. When does this go? Wednesday? Probably Wednesday. Yeah. Around so Wednesday. hopefully it'll be up by now. Yes. You need to go listen. Yeah. We finally were able to film together because we've literally talked about this yeah. for so long and we just we never don't, did yeah. it. But finally. It was so good. I know. You guys, I'm excited. trying to convince Lauren to have a podcast. We'll have Let's to brainstorm see. names. I feel like if you had like a name, I you, think would, so. you would do it. I feel like that's also part of my personality. Like, so, like even with the notepads, I like had that idea to do it. And then I created it all in like a couple days. Yeah. And I just did it. Yeah. So like if I get the urge to start a podcast, it's yeah. gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> you when you have an idea, you like make it kind of yeah, like, like I'm know. like, wait, what's that? That's why it's scary. Yeah. Like do I even want to start a podcast? Yes, okay. you do. <laughs> we'll see. But for now, listen to yeah, Caitlin's. <laughs> we have our own episode now. Yeah. I was telling her that we'll have to do one every single six months to a year. Yes. Because life changes so fast. I know. Really. Seriously, in a year. Because last year, I just got a notification thingy on my phone. We were in Laguna for yeah. our little Laguna trip. And Not I was like, how was that a year ago? That's so crazy. I was like 11 weeks pregnant or something. Oh my gosh, that's so yeah. crazy. I actually remember that. Barely. And now, look at our lives. Like, and, what the and how long have we been friends? And also, as we like, say, like, between all that time, like, I think that's probably the last time we vlogged together. I we never... Actually. <laughs> and we had to vlog that trip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, we probably wouldn't even have. Yeah. We just, uh, we lose track of time. Actually, we've been better this year. Like, the first couple times, yeah, we never did. But I was telling my vlog, it's actually nerve-wracking. Yeah, <laughs> like, it is. Especially, like... When you first meet people, it's like you don't want to like bring out the camera all the time. And I will link her podcast below if you don't already listen to it, which you probably already do. <laughs> no. But if you don't, go listen. I'm excited to hear it. I know. I, it's going to be fun to edit back. I'm yeah. like excited to get home to do it. But now yeah. I don't want to leave. I know. I have my rocket and it's so gloomy outside. Actual fall vibes, but it's so I'm hair like all over my face. <laughs> It's probably so good. You're like huh? talking and I'm like because Coco doesn't shed. Yeah. <laughs> There's just gonna be here everywhere. I know I can't stop petting. Okay guys, I just heated up some lunch. Caitlin just left. It's 116 and we're just chilling now. Jake's taking a nap still. I just warmed up some chicken adobo that Keiko made yesterday. And it's just the best. Best leftovers I could have asked for. What's up guys? It's been a little bit. Zeke finally woke up from his nap. I just fed him. And I think we're gonna run to Target right now because I need a couple things. Trash bags and and Zeke also has a little bit of a cough, which I thought was just a cough, like random coughs a while ago, but today he's been coughing a little bit more consistently. So I want to get him um, this very specific cold and flu stuff um, just so he can sleep better at night because I know that if he's going to start coughing all night, it's going to be a little rough. I want to be proactive about that and even if this is just spontaneous coughing, I want to be on top of it. We're going to run to Target and also I just need to get out of the house. I've been in the house all day, but it did start raining a little bit ago. Hopefully it stops. It's not like pouring, but it, it is all wet outside, so. But it's also 90 degrees, which is like the worst combo. Yeah, we're going to head out, go to Target, maybe somewhere else too. I guess we'll see. I still need to do the majority of my fall decor shopping, but I want to go to Home Goods and stuff for that. So I think I'm going to do that sometime this week. Maybe Thursday is a good day to do that. Are you ready to go, Mr. Bubble Boy? I got to throw a diaper away before I left. Love that. Rocco is the king of eating things he's not supposed to. And before you say, that's so bad for him, he's gonna get sick. I, I know. I didn't purposely leave a diaper out for him to eat it. Okay. Just got back from Target. Just went on a quick little Target run because it's almost Zeke's nap time again and I figured I would just come home and let him nap in his crib. They didn't even have the cold, the baby cold medicine stuff that I wanted to get, so I just ordered it on Amazon. Look at you standing! But I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a little haul of what I did get because we've got some good things. Excuse me. Excuse me, big brother. So we got some trash bags. Nothing special. Fabuloso scent, of course. Zeke is... I have 
Rocco Harriman is. So obsessed with these Serenity Kids pouches, and he's tried all of them except the salmon ones. So we got some salmon ones. We got three packs. Salmon, butternut squash, and beet. Excited for him to try these because he loves all the other flavors. I've seen this little fall set so many times and I've wanted to get it every single time, but I never did. And then it was on sale today for 20% off. So I finally picked it up. It's just a little waffle waffle set with these fall leaves on them. And I got it in nine months so that he could wear it into the future. Needed some more stove cleaner. Got that because that stuff works really well. Got a poppy because why not? And I'm still waiting on my restock that I got. I got Kiko a couple new shirts because these were pretty cute. And he was like, what are you doing tomorrow? And I was like, probably going to Target to get trash bags. He's like, oh, you want to give me some new shirts too? So, I know he was kidding, but I saw these and I thought it was cute. Just this striped one. Cool, he doesn't have anything like these. All of his shirts are basically just basic plain tees. And then this long sleeve little striped one with the pocket. Super cute. Daddy's going to be so stylish. Daddy's going to be so stylish. Yeah. Don't rock the stretchy. There's your brother. <laughs> you love rock. Yeah, we're just chilling today. No plans for the rest of the day. Kiko should be home in a few hours. And I'm making those like smash burger tacos that you've seen probably all over your Instagram and TikTok. What's up guys? Welcome to the next day. It's pretty early in the morning. I think it's like 8 o'clock because he woke up at 7 today. I'm so glad he slept in past 6 that he's been doing recently. You want to say good morning? Say good morning. <laughs> Happy boy. Welcome to another morning. We're just doing the same thing around here. Don't mind my milk stain on my skin shirt. Plan for today. Zeke and I are actually going to my sister's house a little bit later because we are taking one of my nephews to their soccer practices. Both my sister's sons have practices on the same day at the same time. And um, so she needs my help to take one of them, which I usually do on Tuesdays. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be doing that. So we'll probably go over there and hang out for a little bit or for the day, because we might as well just go over there and hang out instead of just go over there for the practice. So we're gonna do that. If you missed it, my morning first thing. Also, volcano. Go on YouTube and put on Maverick City Music's live playlist. And you love it, huh? Uh, you love it? Uh, Are you excited? Uh, Yay! Fill the house. I go make breakfast. I'm gonna make quick breakfast. I think I have egg bites. I bought these uh, from Trader Joe's and I've never tried them. They're the spinach, cheese, and kale egg bites. And I think you just put them in for a minute. I'm also gonna make a matcha in a little bit, but I need to drink some water as well. Okay, someone's joining us. Hot. They are really good. I think I like them better than the Costco ones because they don't have bell peppers in them which the Costco ones do. Okay, I'm gonna eat these. I'm also gonna make my drink of the day and take my seed. Line up for the day is a matcha and an element. These are basically just electrolyte packets and there's no sugar. So that's how they compare to like liquid IV. I still love liquid IV. If I have these, I'll do these because they're sugarless. Okay, I filled a cup with ice too for my matcha, but we're gonna start with this. This is the grapefruit. I love the grapefruit. I love the raspberry, the orange. The watermelon's good, but it's probably my least favorite. I just, I don't know. I love watermelon. I cannot stand the taste of artificial watermelon and like in anything, but theirs is pretty good. But it's just my, not my favorite. We've got my element. I fill a big glass of water. And now we're gonna prep for my matcha, which I did for the first time yesterday, but I didn't vlog it because I made a TikTok instead. But we're back on our pumpkin matcha game and I'm so excited. However, I think we're gonna make a little bit of tweaks today because yesterday's just didn't hit like it did previous years. Um, and I think one reason being is that I'm using like a hand frother to froth the pumpkin milk instead of, I had like one of those Nespresso frothers. So I think that's 
part of the reason but i don't want to use my espresso machine because that's just a lot of work too just to froth the milk i'm struggling this morning so peak tea matcha always All the maple syrup froth her up actually i'm gonna add some cinnamon this time because i forgot to do that yesterday anyone else accidentally put cumin in their things instead of cinnamon every time because i do okay frothing it up we're gonna fill our glass with regular oat milk first pour it in and then i think what we're gonna do differently today is we're just not gonna froth the pumpkin and we're just gonna pour on top and kind of mix it in. See how this one compares to yesterday's. Actually looks really cool, like the colors. All right, moment of truth. Yeah, that tastes way better. Since I frothed it with like the hand frother yesterday, it became like really foamy and like bubbly instead of froth. I really like the way they're just adding the milk on top. Mm -hmm. So if you want a screenshot, these are my matcha ingredients. Maple syrup, regular oat milk, pumpkin oat milk, cinnamon, and peak. Here you go. Take your screenshot. <laughs> a couple other errands we need to run today. Post office to drop off planners. The UPS store. I need to check my peel box at the post office. And you go to the UPS store to return a ring camera doorbell that we bought that is the wrong one. So we ordered the right one. And then I also have to return my newly order because it's literally the 12th today. I'm supposed to send it back on the 6th, which is fine on their end. It takes out time for me in my next month's order, you know? I've just been putting it off and I need to go return it, but I haven't, so. Hi. Oh. No. Someone's getting sleepy. So we're just hanging out on the couch. We're just cuddling on the couch. Love you, baby. Okay, since I actually have a few things I need to do today, I'm gonna write in my planner. This is my daily planner, if you didn't know. I'm selling them on my website. I'll link them below for you. <laughs> that is wild. So I'm gonna fill this out. Okay, I'm actually gonna go put him down for a nap and then finish this, cause he is so sleepy. Even though it's only been an hour and a half. So tired in his first week windows. So we're gonna go go down for a nap. Huh? Look at those red eyes. I love you so much. Okay, Zeke is down. Hopefully he doesn't take too long to fall asleep. I'm gonna make the bed really quick because that's like always what I do first when Zeke goes down for his first nap or else it won't get done for the whole day. That's just how it is. I also need to start a load of laundry, so I'm gonna throw a bunch of our clothes downstairs so that we can get that done also sometime hopefully today. And also, wow, when Zeke goes down, I go through like a very productive few minutes because my room is a mess right now. This is a bunch of stuff from downstairs that I just need to put away. But that's honestly a later problem because we don't have time right now. I'm gonna go on my laptop and print some labels for some planners that I sold so that I can package them up. Also, Zeke is asleep. It's 8.38, so let's see how long his nap lasts. Okay, the lighting in here is not the best right now because it's so bright, but I think we have three more orders to package from last night, so it's perfect because we have three more envelopes down here. Shout out to Heidi Renolin. I think that's how you say your name. I'm sorry if it's not, and Jade, because these are the orders I'm packaging right now. Special orders get a um, Rocco hair attached to them. And if you did get a Rocco hair attached to yours, consider it a blessing. Just kidding. I'm sorry if you got hair on yours. I've got to go to the post office and drop these off soon. I'm going to do it today because I've been putting it off for a day or two. Okay, back to writing my to-do list because I had to tend to Zeke. This is definitely mom life, forgetting about your matcha and then it melting and getting not so good. But it's 9.52, so Zeke's been napping for almost an hour and a half now, which is amazing. I've literally gotten so much done since he's been asleep. One thing being 
changed my clothes. So this is the fit of the day. I'll link both below, but these are from Abercrombie, of course. This is from Target. These are like my favorite tanks ever. I have them in so many colors and they're, I just love the fit of them. They don't show like my nursing bras at all, which is very important because a lot of tank tops, well, basically all the tank tops I have all show my bra straps and stuff. And these don't, and I love them. I just like the coverage of them and the style. Threw my hair in a, in a braid. That's the fit. I'm gonna try to finish my matcha. I folded lawn. I've been hanging out with Rocco, did dishes, and also made Zeke some eggs that are ready for him when he wakes up, and I put them on here to cool down. Hopefully he wakes up soon so they don't go bad, <laughs> but he's still just knocked out. So happy for it because I'm glad he's gonna get a good nap in because since we're gonna go to my sister's house, he doesn't typically nap too well there because I usually just baby wear when I'm there, and he takes his best naps in his crib. You guys, it is. 10.30, Zeke is still asleep. So in about eight minutes, it'll be two hours of his nap, which is insane. And I'm gonna let him sleep as long as he needs to. All right, guys, I just fed Zeke some of his food also. And now we are leaving to go run some errands and then to go to my sister's house after that. So time to head out and go do some things, huh? It is 11.49 and we've had a pretty productive morning. Okay, just finished at the post office. I ran in, dropped off my packages. Check my P.O. box and now we're on our way to the UPS store to do a couple of returns and I also stopped by one of my favorite coffee shops that's right by the post office and got an iced chai and I feel really bad because I realized after I left that they were like one minute to closing when I came in and I would have not went in if I realized that they were about to close because I felt bad. <laughs> Even though yes, they're still open and technically I am totally fine going in but working in places like that, I realized how annoying it is when someone comes in a minute before you close when you've already cleaned everything. So yeah. Okay, just made it through UPS. Quick errands like this are difficult just because I have to pull the stroller out and do all that just for a two second errand. The reason I've been putting it off. I don't remember if I mentioned if Crate and Barrel was on my list of errands, but it was. I wanted to go check out the fall stuff. I got a couple things that I'll show you when I get home, but Zeke's ready to go, so we're gonna go head to my sister's house. <laughs>